Hey everyone, welcome back to POA for you. It's Leroy again, and today we're gonna go through N level specimen paper 2021, paper one, question two. The topic is on trial balance, and hope you find this helpful. And if you find that your friend could benefit from this video, please share it with them. Free resource for everybody. So let's get right into this. So this question shows you a few accounts and a few balance and asks you to prepare a trial balance in this format and you're supposed to put you know the same similar similar uh, look and feel uh, put your accounts here and put these numbers into the debit or credit side depending on whether they are debit or credit nature so you need to know whether these accounts are debit or credit nature as a premise to do this question so let's take a look at that basic right um anything that is an asset is debit nature, anything that's a liability or equity is credit nature, anything that's an expense is debit nature, and anything that's income is a credit nature. So you are supposed to look at all these and determine whether they are assets, liability, equity, expense, or income. Assets are things that you own, liabilities, things that you owe, equity is things relating to the owner like cap, uh, capital drawings and stuff like that expenses are things that the business spends and income is things that the business get in sales revenues and other income like rent income and stuff like that so we'll go through this one by one and i prepared of course the answers really here and i'll just you know share this with you one by one right on how i did this okay so uh, the first thing, you know, I'm going to follow, uh, I followed what, what I've done is I followed this format, right? Uh, same kind of uh, sequence. Capital account, I put it on the credit side because that's an equity item, so it's credit in nature. Fixtures and fittings is a fixed asset or a non-current asset, so it's something that the business owns and it's on the debit side because it's asset. Accumulated depreciation is a contract. A non current asset item so it's meant to reduce the non current asset to get your net book value so it will be the opposite of a non current asset in terms of the nature so it's credit nature inventory is an asset is debit nature trade payables is a liability because it's something that you owe so it's a liability uh, cash in hand is an asset because it's something that you own cash at bank overdrawn means it's something that you owe the bank because you have overspent what you have in the bank and the bank has given you an extended credit a short-term credit so this is something that you owe the bank so it's a liability so it's credit in nature so it's credit side drawings is something that the owner has taken out from the business and therefore it's contra capital it's capital is what the owner has put in and drawings is what the owner has taken out so uh, capital is credit side then drawings is the opposite it will be debit side uh, cost of sales is an expense is a direct expense for selling the product that the business sells so if they are selling books then it's the cost of the books is you know and this would be uh, an expense and it's a debit nature sales revenue is an income uh, from directly selling the books so it's credit nature and sales return it's contra sales a uh, contra revenues or contra income because while sales revenue is selling sales returns it's when the customers give it back to you so it's the opposite direction and general expenses are expenses so it's debit in nature so make sure you recognize this table and understand what this table means and this will help you because this will is fundamental to any even journal entry ledger management um, uh, questions okay so question two two uses of trial balance i put the first one um no obvious errors in business account when trial balance is balanced so when trial balance is balanced it means that any debit that you have done in your journal entries you have credited the same amount and that's the fundamental of you know uh, accounting you 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 have to make sure that the debits are equals to the credits and things what the journal entries as long as it's debit equals to credit it will flow into the ledger as debit and credit to any one ledger and then it will flow into the trial balance if you don't understand that watch my video on poa fundamentals in this link here uh, search for this link and uh, search for this title in my playlist and it will teach you uh, the essential fundamentals of what i've just said um, the other thing about trial balance is um, they help you immediately identify the balance of specific accounts. So if I want to know my sales revenues this year, I know it's 15,600. And I can start comparing it to last year's trial balance to see whether it's increased or decreased without you know, preparing the whole set of accounts um, to, to, in order to do that, right? 
Um, the next question, two stakeholders which may be, who may be interested. So the first one is shareholders of business, you know, because if you know the, the accounting information is where you have the perform, you, you, you is the starting point where you prepare the statement of financial performance, then you would know how well the business has performed versus last year or versus your budgets and stuff like that. Suppliers will be also interested to understand this because before they sell to you, they want to understand whether your business is stable. And if your business is not stable, they may not want to extend credit to you when you sell, when they sell to you and they may want it as a cash payment instead. So hopefully that makes sense to you. All right, that, that's it. Uh, a video addressing this question. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me right um, in the channel or directly in my email poa for you at gmail.com all right take care for now bye bye